there is a special right triangle that has a very unique pattern and that is the 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. The 45, 45, 90 triangle came originally from a square. If you look at this square here, all the sides are one inches long, all the degrees are 90 degrees, and how do you get the 45, 45, 90 triangle is by cutting it down the diagonal, like so. So when you cut it down a diagonal, this 90 degree corner got cut in half. 90 degrees divided by two is 45. So this corner is now 45 degrees. This corner is 45. This corner is still 90. These two sides are congruent. They're the same. So we can, so we can put a dash there to show that they are the same. This is why this triangle gets to be called an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles because it has two sides the same, two degrees the same, and it has a right corner. Now, our task is to find out how long the hypotenuse is. So let's redraw this triangle right here. And let me make it smaller. So I'm going to put one inch here one inch here, and then we're going to solve for the hypotenuse. I'm just going to make the hypotenuse x, all right? Now, we have a technique to find the missing side. When we have two known and one unknown, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's do that. The sides unknown happens to be the hypotenuse, so that's the one that gets to be the letter C. The other two can be A and B. So let's solve for the hypotenuse. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, a is 1, b is also 1, and c is x. Now, 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is 1. One plus 1 is 2. To solve for x, we undo the power 2 by square rooting. x is equal to square root of 2. Okay, so I just want to add one more thing. If I put an invisible 1 right here, this means 1 times root 2. 1 times root 2 is still the same thing as root 2, so I can write it that way or I can write it that way, 1 root 2. All right, so the answer here is 1 root 2. Here we have three similar isosceles right triangles. They are all 45, 45, 90. They're different sizes, but because they're similar, they're going to be proportional. So let's get the smallest triangle here. We're going to make this one 1 inch one inch and one square root of two, just like we solved for in the previous problem. Now this triangle here is three times larger than this one, so all the edges will be multiplied by three. So one times three will give us three inches here, three inches here, and what is one root two times three? Well, that is three square root of 2. Whole numbers multiply together, the square root just hangs along. Now, what about this triangle here? This one is five times as big as this small one. So that means all the edges will be multiplied by five. So this side here will be five inches, five inches, and what is one root two times five? It is five root two. As you can see, the pattern is this, 1, 1, 1 root 2, 3, 3, 3 root 2, 5, 5, 5 root 2. So this triangle kind of has a little rhythm that's easy to memorize. So let's find um, a generic 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. We need to memorize the pattern 
of a 45, 45 degrees. So the, the pattern is this. If this is an unknown side, we're going to call it X. Well, the same side here is unknown, so it's also X. And this is the hypotenuse. That's the one that has the root 2. So whatever number these two sides are, just attach a root 2 at the end. So here is the X pattern. X, X root 2 is the hypotenuse. X, the two unknown sides are the same. And this is the hypotenuse, X root 2. That's how you memorize the isosceles right triangle.